Good morning. Rolling that ball. Up and down. And across the knuckles. And in the palms. And the pads. Slippery, still slippery this ball. And cross the knuckles, yeah. And let's take it in one hand and compress. And then the other. Back to the first. And one more time on the other. And we'll just toss it up today. And catch. Or bat. Or swast. Switching directions and heights and speeds and hands and what you throw it with and what you catch it with. Try to trick yourself. Where do we go to two balls? Oh. And three, two, one, drop the ball on the ground, assess how your feet are feeling. And your ankles and your knees and your hips. Just make a note and press down on the ball right in the middle three times. One, two, and good morning, Suzanne. Three, and up to the knuckles. Four and five, and then scoot it across the knuckles. And roll it down the bones. Put it in the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Bring the ball to the crease between the knuckles and the toes and scrunch into it. Release and separate the toes. Scrunch again. Bring it to the middle and wiggle. And then scribble it across the bottom of the foot. Three, two, one, let go, release it, and assess. Go to the other foot. Same thing. Rolling it across the knuckles at this point and then rolling it down the bones. And putting the ball in the middle and wiggling those toes.
and scrunching. Separating. Scrunching again. Wiggling one more time. And scribbling. Three, two, one. And we get the ball out of the way. Reassess. And check the tree. Centering. Nice deep breath. Twisting at the waist. Swing in the arms. And center. Ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb, the base of the spine, the other and starlight from one side. And then the other. And center. Two breaths. We'll march in place. Or jog. So today we're going to do the Zach Bush four minute routine three times. 12 reps, three sets. Includes a lot of uh, squats of whatever variety you choose to do them in. So I wouldn't do squats to get the heart rate going, but anything else is up for grabs.
think I'll just run, get some yin yoga in the after class, nice and relaxing. <clears throat> So you get going, being safe, whatever you do, in five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Twenty. Five. Two deep diaphragmic breaths. Interlacing those hands, bring them up. Overhead stretch. The ceiling. And extend back if you can. Come forward. And bend to one side. And then the other. Centering. I'm now slowly pressing out of the chest. Come down. And interlace, fingers interlace behind the back. Raising the hands up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. A little bit higher. And back down. Or shrug. And roll back. And forward. Extend the arms and rotate. Reverse direction. Thumbs are up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's swim. And a backstroke. And a breaststroke. One arm across the body, just below the neck, press on the elbow. And then the other. Behind the back. Other arm. Roll 
about it today? Switch directions. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Look up. Look down. Look over one shoulder. And then the other. Side lunge, stretching the inner thigh. Reaching out just a little further. And switching. Turning, stretching the calf. Other way. Coming forward, legs together a bit. One leg in front, hinge at the waist, reach down, keeping the back in neutral, spine in neutral, stretch the hamstring. And come back and bring the other foot forward. Same thing. And let's come up and grab a stick. Put it behind the back, aligning it with the spine. One hand on top, one hand with the palm facing away below and just run it up and down the spine. And then stretch out. And switch the position of the hands. And go up and down the spine again. Stretch out. And twist. Bring the stick in front, palms up, and let's do 10 bicep curls.
We're going to hinge at the waist, reverse the grip, hinge at the waist, come down, and bring your elbows up close to your rib cage and pass. Keep your head back, your spine in neutral. And we'll do 10, that's nine for me. And 10, come back up, put the bar to shoulder and go straight up. Another 10. And then back down and raise the bar up. Your elbows are coming up and out. Three, four, six, And 10, put the bar behind you with your palms facing out and lift behind. One, two, three, nine. And 10, we'll get down on the floor. Feet are either soles on the floor or extended, whichever you find more comfortable. Bars at your chest, and you go straight up. One. And 10, and then one final stretch, sit up, the bar at your side, one hand on top, one hand on the bottom, reach back and turn towards the shoulder that the stick is on the side that the stick is on, and stretch. And then the same thing on the other side. And come back. And we'll get up. We'll do some Zach Bush either with weights or without. Or you could use a water bottle or nothing at all. I'm going to take Nina's suggestion and put the squats in the middle to give the arms a break. So we'll start with some raises, then we'll do the squats, and you can do the squats however you want. You can sit down, you can just come down a little, um, sit down and get up on a chair, or do a full squat. Uh, then we can do around the clock or through the middle, if that's easier on your shoulders. And finally, the military press. So the squat will be number two. We'll start with the raises. We'll do three sets of 12. And I'll vary the speed, getting a little bit quicker with each set. It's three. Six. Seven. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Squats. One. 
12, around the clock. Take a breath. Military press. Twelve. Uh, let's take a couple of breaks. Now I'm trying to figure out, I put the squats at number two, and that was great for the first time around, but we're still going to wind up doing three arm exercises in a row, aren't we? I'm going to have to put this into a uh, supercomputer and figure out how to do this. But we're going to take a break here, take a couple of breaths, and do some braces a little bit faster. And 12. And I'll tell you what, let's do around the clock. I'm going to go through the middle now. And then we'll do some squats and break it up that way. Now squats. And military press. And two, at least, at least two, maybe three or four. Deep. Relaxing breaths. All right. Last round. A little bit quicker. One, two, three. Eleven and twelve um, around the clock. Squats. And the last one, presses, two. Mm. 
11, 18. Put those weights down. Rub those hands together. Cool. To be in cheek. Catching your breath. And forming your chi ball. Centering, two breaths. And opening our hearts. And pausing and sending it back out. Centering with two breaths. And bringing out chi from above. And going down, down, yep. Down. Aha. Uh -huh. Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Thank hey, you. Hey, you're welcome, Mitchak. Have a good one. Thanks, Tom. Okay, Nina. See you later. Alrighty. Um, yeah, five Tibetans for those of you who are able to stay around. I am going to put the timer on. Start uh, same same routine. Starting with the cat. It's eight minutes long, thirty seconds for each. Are we doing Zen yoga? Yeah. I thought you said five Tibetans. Yeah. No. Okay. But before uh, you said Zen yoga. So. I thought I, I might have said Yin yoga. Whoops. Wait a second. I started at. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna stop. All right, this card session. All right, I'm gonna start it again. And starting with Kat.
cats. Часто. Thank you. Yes. Whoops. Mm 
Que de sucesso. Thank you. 